understand why you agreed to work another shift. Because we're new here. I can't say no. Well, of course you can. You, you just finished a shift. You're tired. I'm fine, okay? I'm not ready for sleep. And besides, I want to do this. Why? Because, you know, because we, we came down here for a reason, to find out if someone calls that crane accident. Yes, and we have all day tomorrow to do that. Yes, well, you know what? The guys are going to be hung over then. They're not going to talk as much. Well, that's not what you said earlier. Don't you want to find out who's behind this? Of course this? I do. Fine, then let me go down there. Yes. Listen, I know you, and you are exhausted. Look, I am fine, Richard. We're doing a huge favor for Roselle, and I'm sure she knows every man who's walked in that place. A new girl should be down in a second. Then I'll grab us a couple of long necks so we can talk about those common interests of ours. Great. I'll get us a table. There's quite one outside. I'll get those beers. Well, it ain't the Brit. You find that bartender you've been looking for? Yes, I did. Uh, what's the story? Why is she so curious about San Crystal Bell? Well, I'm about to find out. We were told no one would ever know that we rigged that crane. So if someone's on to us... I'll take care of it. Just concentrate on keeping your mouth shut. Yeah, I want to know what you're going to do. I'm going to see what's behind this woman's party girl act. And then I'll find out what she knows. Aren't you glad my mom and your dad are coming home soon? Um, sure. What do you think they'll bring us? Susan, what do you think they'll bring us? I don't know. I hope they bring me a hula skirt for my doll and pretty shell for her hair and maybe even a tank top. And you're not listening to me. Uh, yes, yes, I am. Actually, your doll, what are we talking about? The new doll, the one I got for Christmas. Hey, I'll bring her down and we can pretend she just got back from vacation with a really cute boyfriend. And we'll make up stories about him, okay? Okay. I don't have to pretend anymore. I have a boyfriend. Oh, my gosh. Um, hello? Hi, it's me. Yeah, I thought it would be. I just, uh, I just wanted to call. I'm glad. Um, so is, is everything still cool for tonight? Oh, uh, yeah. My dad and Beth are not coming home until tomorrow, so the house will be empty. What about you? What do you mean? Well, I mean, are you going to be able to get out? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, I told Lillian that... I was going to go study at a friend's house, and she usually crashes right after um, Lizzie and Zach go to bed anyway, so... Well, do you need me to pick you up or anything? I mean, I'm going to be out here in a few minutes. Oh, thank you, but no. Um, she knows n none of my friends drive, so just use the key that I gave you, and um, I'll be there. I'll, I'll take the bus or something. Are, are you sure? <sighs> yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Okay. Real soon. Bye. Bye. Ms. Santos, the jury has returned to their room to deliberate. We'll reconvene here when they have reached a verdict. Until then, this court is in recess. Hold on. Hold on. Come what on. do you think you're doing, Mr. Mr. Santos? Carmen Santos has something to say to this court, something that's going to change the outcome of this trial. What are you doing? You cannot allow this. You'll find out in a minute. Come on, let's go. Why don't you tell the judge? Judge what you did. Your Honor, I want to tell you about the night that Ben Warren was murdered. I want to tell you about the truth of how he was killed.
Your Honor, this is exactly the kind of theatrics I was talking about. Mr. Santos is abusing this court again. If that's what you call getting at the truth, so be it. This I case is already in the jury's hands. The jury has not yet received final instructions, and I would like to hear what Ms. Santos has to say. Go ahead. Your Honor, um... What I have to say, um... What I have to say is that Michelle is not the one who killed Ben. Come on. I, uh, There's more. Let's go. I went to ben, Ben's apartment that evening. I, I was carrying a gun. I loved him so much. As much as you love Michelle, Danny. So you see, I do understand the kind of love, the kind of love that, that you would sacrifice your own, your own mother. But I'm sorry, Daddy, I can't do this. Just do this. Don't, don't, don't ask me don't for any love, but I can't do this. What is your son asking for, Mrs. Santos? He wants me to say that I killed a man I love, but I can't. I can't. So when we come in, you're going to tell the truth if it's the last thing you do. don't think so. I have to go over to my friend's house for to study. But you said that you would play with me. It's a really important test. Okay. Sorry. Fine. Ken. Look, we'll play some other time, okay? Sure, whatever. Look, when I get back, I'll have plenty of stories for your doll and her boyfriend and what it's like to have a real boyfriend, and it'll be great. What are you doing? That's my mom's perfume. You're wearing my mom's perfume. So? So I'm gonna have to tell her when she gets back. Lizzie, come on, I just tried it on. I liked how it smelled on her, so I just tried it on. Plus, I'm not coming home until tomorrow anyway. Uh-uh. Yeah. Check the calendar. Nana said that they were coming over tonight. <laughs> Lillian said that? <coughs> Are you sure? Yep. Why? Because your dad has some meetings to go to. When? Lizzie. When did she say that they were coming? When? A little before my bedtime, which is pretty soon. Are they coming here first? No, they're gonna pick us up in the morning. We better go clean our room before they come. Oh my gosh. Max. Richard, I look exhausted. It's, it's because you are no, exhausted. I am not. I just look it. Okay? All right, before I... Go down there. Let's talk about everything. So I ask the right questions, okay? All right. All right. So, the crane inspector and five of the workers, all from Galveston, disappeared after the crane collapsed, right? That is correct. All right. Well, they were nowhere near the crane, so they weren't injured. Not as far as our reports show. Okay. No. All right. All righty. What is it you're planning to do? I'm going to go down there and I'm going to be very generous with the drinks and hoping the guys are going to speak more freely. Generous with the drinks? If there's somebody down there who's already pretty drunk. Gil. Yes, he's intoxicated, isn't he? Look, I've almost got him to hire you on his crew and I might be able to seal the deal tonight, Richard, okay? Cassie. This is crazy. You are way too tired to be doing this. I have to go. 
I tell you, I will tend bar for this Roselle woman, okay? And I'll try to get myself on that crew. I already you... told her I was coming, all right? I can handle this, Richard. Yes, you can handle you can handle anything. I know you can. And I wouldn't presume to tell you not to do something, Cassie, but I'm asking you. I'm asking you, take a break from being superwoman just for a little bit, all right? And rest. What about... I, I'll, I will handle everything from here. I could use the rest. Well, are you going to tell I will Roselle? tell Roselle that you're not feeling well. Okay. Thank you. I'm just going to lay down here and, you know, close my eyes. Just take a little nap, that's all. I think that would be a good idea. It's my fault. I was, um... What? What What? What were you doing? I was trying to turn the lamp off. I was trying to lean over and turn the lamp off. Oh. Well, I guess I was dreaming. <laughs> felt for a minute like I was being kissed. <laughs> okay. Hello? Stella? You still up there? Yeah, Roselle, I'm sorry. Oh, what's taking you so long? Uh, just, uh, got a little hung up. That, that's all. I understand. If I had a husband of my own, I'd have a hard time pulling myself out of bed, too. Oh, it's not like that. It's okay. But I need you, hon. I can't let this one get away. I want to make sure he knows I'm interested, you know what I mean? Sure. Okay, so can you come down here and cover for me? I owe you big time. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be down there as soon as I can. Bye. Well, I take it you are going to work now. Yep. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm not tired anymore. Right. I'm not, you know, that power nap. Did it. All 30 seconds of it, right? Richard, you know, we need to make friends. People like Roselle, you know, we never know we're going to need a favor down here. All right, uh, you tend the bar and I will try to get on that crew. I'm going to work on Gil. I know I can get something from him. Cassie. Would you get your client's husband under you control? I, I apologize, Do you honestly think I was kidding? I'll do it. What? I will Danny, would you stop? Tell them the you truth. Stop lying. Something that I didn't You're do, lying. Danny. Stop it. No, you didn't mean any of those things you said. Oh, I did. I meant every word. No. You're my son. You wouldn't don't do push that me. to me, Danny. You want to try me? Don't push me. Why don't you stay out of it? No, I won't. All right? What's going on again? 
Dad, Daddy, Daddy. Son, my Tell them. Son. What did he say? He said, he said that to say that I did it or else, or what? That he'd destroy me. I'm so sorry, Danny. I'm so sorry. But I can't. Carmen, do we know this. what you're doing. No, I didn't. Will you murder stop Ben? I don't know who did, but I swear. You to killed you. Ben. You set up a show. Will you just admit no. it and tell Michelle, them? Michelle, she killed your brother, and she just wants you against me. She's That's all. Right. Lying. You, you have everyone against me. Everyone I love. That's it. Outside. Let's go. Outside. Do you think Danny, get away please, with this? Please, please, listen stop to me. Stop lying. No, you stop lying. Every word out of Danny, your mouth is a lie. Just how admit. How can you say Tell that them. to me? Admit Don't that you shot him. Admit, admit that everything that we lost said is true. Just tell the truth, Danny. Come tell the truth. Don't look at come me like that. Stop. Come on. I gave you your chance. Come on. I gave you your chance. Just remember, you please, had your chance. Please. You want to get a restraining order, Mrs. Santos? No, of course not. I just want my son back. That is never gonna happen. You ain't find a way to put me behind jail for the rest of my life, but you are never gonna get him back. Never! It's unbelievable. Hey, calm down. Look at me. What is the matter with you two? With us? What did you see what just happened I in there? I saw everything, So yes. you know exactly what Carmen's doing. I'm not worried about Carmen. I'm worried about your husband. Whatever he's trying to do to help you, it's not working. They could be there by now. Oh my gosh. I told him not to answer the phone. Great. My dad is going to kill me. No, he's going to kill Max, actually. Max will never talk to me again. I have to get over there. Not coming until forever. Uh, my bike? No, that would take too long. I need, I need a, a ride. I need, I need a car. Dare wake her up. Don't you say anything. Why not? They're not even yours. <coughs> okay. You keep telling me that you want to be sisters, right? Well, sisters help each other. So please, just don't say anything, okay? Please. What are you going to do with them? Your grandma's asleep, right? Yeah. Right. She's tired of playing with Zach, and she thinks I'm in bed. Okay. Great, because then I, I I will be keeping a secret for you, too. But I only came down because I heard you. And besides, why do you need Grandma's keys to study? Because I'm not going to study, okay? I'm not going. I have to go get Max, and I have to get him very, very fast. Max? Yes, I will be back before your grandma even knows I'm gone, okay? Now, I just need the car for a few minutes. Just but you're not even old enough to drive! I know, duh. I don't have a driver's license, but who cares? My dad, my dad taught me, I know. But you'll get arrested! No. No one is going to get arrested or in trouble, except for Max, if I don't get him and I, if I don't get him now. Why? Because he's over at our house right now. And if my dad comes over there and sees him, he, he will never let me talk to him again. And I can't live like that, Lizzie. So please, just don't tell her, okay? Uh, look, if something bad happens, you can wake up Lillian. Okay. But only if it's like a life or death situation. Did you cross your heart? Cross my heart. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, I need to go. You're still the coolest big sister in the world. Shh. Don't tell. No, I'm afraid you don't understand. I was told to call at this time because I was told that I could speak with Dr. Edward Bauer. Now, I'm calling from the United States, and this is a family emergency. I... 
Marler, M-A-R-L-E-R, first name Ross. Now look, whoever you are, I am begging you to help me because I don't have much time and I'm... S yes, if you could do that, that would be wonderful. And yes, I, I'll hold on, I will wait. Yeah, thank you. Is everything all right in there? Um, well, Michelle is still really upset. Yeah, well, I need uh, a, another minute. Okay? okay, is everything okay? Uh, yes, I've just been on the... F hold on. Yes? That is wonderful. All right, if you can do that, I will wait. I will hold on. Yeah, make sure I don't get disconnected, all right? Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I'm about to speak to Ed. I promised Rick that I'd get a hold of his dad. Right, he told me that. That is so very nice of you, Ross. Yeah, it would be awfully nice if I could actually get it done, but I finally got a hold of someone who'd arrange a time for when Ed would have access to a telephone. Well, it will be so good for Rick and Michelle to hear their dad's voice. They're both hanging by a thread right now. Yeah. Abby, would you do me a favor? Yeah. Um, would you go in and talk to the bailiff and have him get a hold of the judge and tell him I'm on this emergency phone call? Okay. And I'll be in there when I can. Okay, okay I will. Okay, and don't... Don't mention this to Michelle or to Rick either, because this is not the time to get right. their hopes up. Okay? I promise. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Hello. Ed. Ed, is that you? Thank God. Yeah, I know exactly what time it is over there, because this is the time I was told to call you. I'm in the Springfield courthouse. I practically live here. This Ed, did you get any of the messages that we sent to the hospital over there? Yeah, we were told that you were in the field, yes. It... Yeah, but come on, I can't believe that you didn't have access to any... Co All right. Ed, do you understand what is happening here? Do you understand what's happening to Michelle? She's in serious trouble, Ed, and she needs her father. Yeah, well, that's all well and good. You might have, but the last letter they got was in the middle of October. Ed, you don't know what this is doing to her. I mean, she needs a parent at this point. Every day she's at the cemetery at her mother's grave. You are nowhere to be found. I can't do it. Yeah, of course, Rick is here, but it's not the same, is it? He's trying to be the father. But this is not the job he expected when you told him to look after his little sister for a few months. Ed, what the hell is wrong with you? How can you just leave your kids this way? And I don't care if you are curing every disease in the third world. I'm not exaggerating. Your daughter's life is at stake. It is in danger. The situation is now chaotic. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Ed, it's time to come home. Do you get it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, are you all right? Ed, if there is something wrong with you, now's the time to tell me. Okay. And are you drinking? For the love of God, man, I don't care about that. All right, all I want to know is what's going on over there and why you fell off the face of the earth, and I need to... Ed? No, you can't. You can't do that. Ross, I'm sorry. I, I think Michelle needs you. Yeah, I'm coming. Um, did you... What, what happened? Did you talk to Ed? I spoke to him, yes. And? And I don't know what is happening with him, and until I do, I don't want to tell Michelle and Rick about this, okay? Okay. So I guess you and I will continue to babysit the Bauer kids. Okay. Come on, let's go. Where is that girl? Look, why don't I just fetch you the Stella woman myself? Oh, you're an impatient one, aren't you? I don't like to wait for what I want, no. Mm. I love this song. Are you a country fan, Eddie? No. But why don't you come over here and persuade me to be?
They must be newlyweds for as long as they've been up in that room. Oh, I think that's her. And him. They are attached at the hip. They're a charming couple, I'm sure. Will you join me now? Sure thing. Why waste time talking about a married woman? When I'm as single as they come. Yes. I'd much prefer talking to you, Roselle. Now, it seems we have a shared curiosity. Curiosity? You bridge sure are proper. Well, if I said I had a great big secret, would that be sufficiently improper? It might be. Good. I know about the accident. I'm investigating it. Sure. I beg your pardon. <gasps> oh, and you're acting all nice and interested in this whole time. You've been just checking out my car accident. Well, I, I did. I did have whiplash. And, and, and tonight's the first night I was even able to dance. Car accident? I don't know anything about a car accident. I'm investigating a construction accident. Don't give me that. What would I know about a construction accident? No, wait a... Oh. Nothing. Um, Roselle, I'm terribly sorry. I don't think we have anything else to discuss. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. With all the money I made working on that job. You mean not working? Yeah. <laughs> well, I got me a new fishing boat out of it. Hey, is that right? That man still wants us to keep working for him? Would you shut up, both of you? Huh? Blow it for all of us. Jeez. I'll get some smokes. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing out here? Well, that bartender I told you about's inside. Yes, I know. So you found her. Listen, just forget about the girl. She doesn't know anything. I want to talk about your next assignment. You mean our next accident? Well, you learn quick, yeah. and... Where, and it's worse than the last. That's right. This has to be a PR disaster for the current ruler of San Cristobal. So, what you said earlier... That's what you want? Yes. Right. One of the construction workers has to be more than just hurt this time. Uh, how you doing? Uh, sorry to bother you. I, I couldn't help but overhear you talking about that um, construction crew. Mm -hmm. What? That sounds like a really great job to have. Can you believe Danny? I mean, he's, he's trying to use his own mother as a sacrifice to take the fall for her. All right, come here. Listen to me. It's it's really, really hard to know what's ever going on in that family, okay? These two so... people were my friends, Mom, and I feel like I never even knew them. You are just damn fortunate the jury wasn't here to see Danny's outburst. Sit down. Do you understand that Carmen shot Ben? She's setting me up, and she's lying about it? Which you cannot prove? I can't... Great, I can't prove it. So she's going to throw my life away, and I can't do anything? How am I supposed to react to that? Shh, find a way. Find a way, because right now you're just sabotaging your case. Okay. The jury didn't see any of that, so that's okay, right? I still have a chance to get you an acquittal. I have a better chance to get a hung jury. However, the judge saw a part of Danny's outburst, and he has the power to overturn any verdict, Michelle. Any verdict. Look at her. I look at her. Unbelievable. Well, talking to the prosecutor. You've got to calm Michelle down. is going to be convicted because of her. You have to calm down. Okay? You're going to be sorry for this. You hear me? Don't say yeah, that. Okay, that's what sorry started this. this whole mess and to begin with. What the hell were you thinking? She killed Ben. Why does everyone find that so hard to believe? You thought she your mother was going to walk in this courtroom and admit to she's something? She's going to. Believe me. Oh, she wouldn't You're sacrifice your life. Why should she sacrifice my because sister's she life? She knows what I'm going to do. If don't you? She goes to jail. She goes to jail. I'm holding you personally responsible. You got that? You're all Santos, I'm over! You are a Santos. I swear to you, Danny. I swear.
owe it to you on your father's grave that I didn't do any of this. Trace my mother Matt at all. Okay, well, you have my cell phone, right? Can you call me? Thanks. Yeah, Cedars Hospital. Can I get the psychiatric ward, please? Yeah, hi, I was wondering if I could speak to a patient, Pilar Santos. No. Yeah, I understand. Look, you're, you're not helping this, okay? Try putting yourself in Danny's position. It was in Danny's place, so don't give me any damn lecture. And you were willing to do anything for the woman that you love? It's not is the that same. No, no, no. It's not the same thing. Danny's a liar. Jesse, and he always will be. Danny. <laughs> Danny. I would give anything, anything to spare you what you're going through. The only thing you can do to help yourself is tell the truth. But I didn't do it, Danny. I didn't do it. I didn't kill Ben. I don't know if Vanessa was involved or whether Michelle... I know that everything Pilar said is true. I know it. Your poor sister, she's having a nervous breakdown, You're the Danny. one out of touch with reality. Just remember that I gave you a chance. Okay, okay. You want the truth, I'll tell you the truth. I will never, never forgive Michelle for killing Mick. I'd be lying to you if I told you that I didn't want her to pay for it. But... I would never risk losing you, Danny. I wouldn't do that. I love you. You're my son. You're more important to me. Uh, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Danny, I would, I would lie for you. I, I would give up my life for you. But never, never, never for Michelle. Uh, you know what? Unless you've got a real confession to make. Don't come near me, or Pilar. Danny, you're my son. I love you. We can be a family. We will be a family again. Thanks. Well, I tell you, I'd sure like to get a job on that crew. <laughs> Just one worker. Injuries heal, people forget. What I need is a public outcry. Mm. A martyr, if you will. Is this a problem? Well, I was just thinking. Why? Well, wouldn't it be easy to cause an accident for that prince? I mean, that's who you want to get rid no. of. No. I don't want anything to happen to him. I simply don't believe he's fit to rule the country, that's all. Oh, so this is some kind of patriotic thing. Exactly. Or Think of it as the sacrifice of one to improve the lives of many. Well, all I know, it's improving mine. I guess we'll all be better off. You see that pretty thing down there? That's, that's my wife. And, uh, I, I would give anything, you know, just to be able to give her a better life. And, uh, well, I'll tell you, this is a job for you then, buddy. You think you can get me on the crib? I'll see. Uh, I thought your husband... Oh, boy. <laughs> and I thought your husband locked you up for the night. Oh, no, he's all right. He's fine. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I just got all carried away when you were telling me about that exotic island. Carried away, huh? Yeah. You must be pretty big to go work on a job like that. Yeah. I can't believe it. Oh, hi. I'm Rosal. Thanks for trying to help me out. Too bad it was for nothing. I, I, I thought you had a date. He was a creep. He was worse than a creep. He was an insurance agent. Do you mind, Roselle, you interrupting our conversation here? Do you think I could have my shit back? I need the money. Oh. Um, well, that's great. Yeah, that give us a little more private time. Finish talking. I know just the place. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I'll do what I can, all right? Uh, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, hey, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, let me tell you the best part about this thing. Yeah. Now, you got you to gotta, you gotta understand this deal. Okay. It ain't something that you So, Danny, I told Michelle that the judge has the power to overturn any verdict that comes down. Since he saw your outburst, I don't think it's very good. Things couldn't possibly get any worse. I just... Ross, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for losing with Danny. I just... I snapped. I... I know I'm not th making things any better. No, you're not. But we're all tired and frustrated, not on our best behavior. Ross, would you like to come have dinner with us? I know you're still on your own. Please let us feed you. Thank you, but uh, I have an awful lot of work to do at home, and I also have a few leftovers at home, too, so okay. I'll be fine. Hey, Ross, um, I hate to keep bugging you about this, um, because I've certainly tried. Have you managed to get a hold of my dad at all? Um, no, not yet. Uh, I have tried, but, uh, I haven't gotten a hold of him yet. No, no, no that's all right, Ross. I mean, I'm not expecting any miracles. It's been several months, and you certainly got enough to deal with, that's for sure. I'll keep at it. And when I hear from him, I'll let you know, of course. I know that. Thank you. Thank you for being such a good friend to my family. I know my father would really appreciate what you're doing for us. I'll be in my rightful place soon, Richard. Even if some poor slob has to die for it to happen. I really appreciate it, and this job is going to be to make a big difference for me and my wife. Could, could we have another beer here? I got to go. I'll see right. you. you know, I'm fixing to go anyway. So, you were telling me about that uh, job you were heading up. I did? Well, yeah. Now, what did I tell you about me heading it up? Well, it's obvious that you're the one in charge. You know, my husband, he's looking for a good job, and I was thinking that, you know, since you're the boss, maybe you could help us out. Hey, Gil. Hey, tell me more about that job, huh? Not now. Jeez. <laughs> Can we go inside and talk about this? These guys are going to be bugging me all night. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You wait here, all right? I don't want that dishwashing husband to interrupt us. Well, well, well. Yeah, this is more like it. Well, what do you say? Can you get my husband a job on your crew? Can you do that for me? I think I could do much more than that, sweetheart. It's gonna be okay. I'll get there in time to warn Max. And everything's gonna be okay. Bye. I love you, Max! I love you! What are you doing? What? I snuck in the back while you were playing with all those buttons. Lizzie! Oh my gosh! What? We're sisters. We're supposed to do everything together. You little brat! I can't believe you ruined everything! Oh my gosh! has been Guiding Light. Footwear provided by Coach.